My name is Ben, and I've always wanted to change the world, but I didn't know how. But the one thing I was certain of is that it wouldn't include short-term mission trips. To me, it felt like every day when I saw pictures on Facebook of my friends and family on those trips, I couldn't help but wonder if they were doing more harm than good. One day, I read a blog that articulated every negative thing I was feeling about short-term trips, and I tweeted it to the world. That's when my friend Chris challenged me in a way I wasn't expecting and invited me on a trip with back-to-back -back ministries. Not being one to back down from a challenge, I found myself in the airport with a missions team ready to prove him wrong. It didn't take long for my worst fears to come true. While on a field trip to an amusement park, I was responsible for four kids who couldn't stand to wait in line for more than 30 seconds. So during one of the million times they escaped the line and I was chasing after them, it hit me. This is exactly how Jesus chases after me. That night, at a worship experience, Chris told me about a back-to-back -back program that provides for teenagers and how there were more kids in need than spots available. It made me start to wonder, what does the future look like for my new friends? The next day, we were working on housing for that program, and I learned that construction was paused because they were waiting on funding for the roof. I immediately shot my hand up and asked, how much? $4,000, he said. Without hesitation, I said, we've got this. My church will take care of that. And we did. I raised the money, and I'm leading two trips back to Mexico in the next year. In the end, it's pretty funny that it took a short-term mission trip to show me that it's not my job to change the world. My job is just to be a part of a community of people making an actual difference in the world.